Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. Um, sorry, it was it's a day late. I wish I actually posted it yesterday, uh, but this is just an opportunity I actually took today. Um, but let's start off with the weekly and the monthly time frame. So on the monthly time frame, uh, we see that GBP USD has been quite bearish since last week, as it engulfed uh, February. Uh, sorry, January. Uh, so March is midway. Um, last week closed as a doji so price action hasn't really been flowing into one direction it's been kind of just sitting around this area you can see the where the support and resistance are um, I won't be doing the key levels on now I just want to look at the overall trend as you move on to the daily you can see what's going on as you can see on the weekly time frame it corresponds with the daily uh, these key levels is just key see what price action is doing reacting to these areas so you can see that this support level was actually quite strong um, so potentially GBP USD could be coming back up today kind of closed quite bearish um, which I like to see but at the same time I'm quite cautious that this new higher high and then this is the new higher low rejecting of this support level here I want to see it to either break and continue down or to can you make it up so at the moment it's making higher highs and higher lows but at the same time let's keep our eye out on the lower time frame so here you see on the four hour that it did create this higher high like it did on the daily and this higher low which came actually quite below this support level or previous uh, resistance so um, this is not something I'm going to be trading until tomorrow I do have current trades on from these highs um, so I'm, I'm waiting to see how price action reacts to the moving averages and yeah and also I will be looking at US dollar which I'll show you in a second as you can see on the one hour time frame price action is below MAs it is rejecting off the blue MA so this could potentially be coming down however if it doesn't break below this um, support level I'm looking to see it react and creating some bullish um, price action so that's that for GBP USD uh, here I want to look at US dollar let's go from the weekly time frame uh, price action is above the MA let me delete this uptrend but last week didn't close as a strong uh, bull and on the daily let me, oops, let me delete these drawings so last week uh, sorry yes uh, yesterday closed quite bullish rejecting off the MAs uh, but today started quite bearish so we'll see how price action responds to a moving average right now it's in between MAs so I'm not rushing into any trades at the moment especially because it's evening time it's Asia session so I'm not quite interested until it's London session in the morning um, and I won't be placing trades on straight away um, I, w I just want a, a nice clean break so yes it did create new higher highs on the lower time frames um, in comparison to these lows here but at the same time it could be a um, higher low before sorry a lower high before it makes a new lower low so I want to see how it responds to different areas of key levels as well as price action and see if there's any bullish momentum or if it's bearish momentum as well as breaking the MAs and going further down so this is something I've got my eyes on at the moment I do have trades on GBPUSD for shorts um, you will see this on my Instagram post at acefx underscore academy so keep your eye out on there and yeah so if you enjoyed this video found it informative please leave a like subscribe um, comment down below if you like and I hope you have a lovely week.